think about what we've done so far. We've reduced radicals from entire radicals into mixed radicals. We've added and subtracted. We have found out a whole bunch of things like combining like radicals and so on and so forth. Well, what's the next step? Of course, you have to now start multiplying and dividing radicals. Oh man, how does that work? Well, it works actually quite easy. If the index is the same, that's the key. So you're going to multiply by a square by a square root. Okay, a square root by a square root, or a cubed root by another cubed root. But you will not do a cubed root times a square root. That just eh, 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 not going to happen. Okay, so if the index is the same, all you have to do is multiply the numbers that are out front and multiply the radicands. That's it. So here's a nice little technical definition. If you want to look at it, go ahead. But basically what this is telling you is here's a mixed radical with an M up front and an N up front. So you're just going to multiply the M by the N. There you go. Then if you noticed, you have an A in here and a B in here. And all you're going to do is multiply the A by the B. That's it. Now, sometimes you might have to simplify that square root or cube root AB thing. We'll worry about that later when we get to that point. Let's look at an example. Okay, here we go. Remember, numbers times ra numbers. So you look at this. Look, numbers times numbers. 5 times 3, not tough. 15. Radicals times radicals. Root 3 times root 2. Root 6. That's it. I think that's the easiest thing you've done so far. Holy smokes, that's incredibly easy. Look at this next question. Look at B. This says, uh-oh, you've got a minus 3 outside the brackets. Okay, so so what? Distribute it. you got minus 3 root 2, minus 3 times minus 4 is positive 12, and then put the rest of it in there. And look at this. All you have to do now is, guess what? Combine like terms, right? So you got 9 root 2 and minus 3 root 2 works out to be 6 root 2 plus 12. The 12 in that cannot... Combine, that's your final answer. That's not so tough now, is it?